other sort of tips besides staying consistent, writing what you love, content strategy stuff. Um, do you have any ambitions for video? Always for fun, me, and I'm big on mainstream. Okay. So what type of stuff would you do you say that you're interested in that you wouldn't necessarily consider mainstream? Once you answer that, I'll go into another thing that could help you out. Yeah, what are you interested in in terms of... Do you have any ambitions of making videos, doing live streams, or any sort of video content? So yeah, that's two questions. Uh, do you have... Oh, jeez. That's that's going to kill me right there. <laughs> I want to review games. Good and bad. No bias. Okay, here here's a good one. YouTube channel and my Twitch. Okay, um, send me those links. I don't know. I, I might have blocked links. Uh, you can send those over here. We can take a look at them. My, my stream is being a little fiddly here. I will say, this is one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to independent content creators. I hate the word bias. And in particular, I hate that people think that, oh man, there's so much bias in the media, I'm going to save the day, or I'm going to be the voice that is completely not biased. And the reality is, everybody's biased. Everybody has their preconceived notions going into a thing. Um, everyone's going to have a different opinion. It's not necessarily bias or money hats or anything like that. I think the reality is, people have different opinions on stuff. And some people like things, some people don't like other things. And pretty much like when it comes to rating games, rating movies, rating anything, like a lot of it is subjective. And so... Some people will say, hey, Tetris is the greatest video game of all time, like me. And there's going to be other people that say, Tetris is super boring, you just put the blocks on top of each other. And there's no story, and there's no cutscenes, the graphics are super plain, and... Okay, no one's going to knock the music, because Tetris music's phenomenal, but... I would try... I think it's okay to have bias to... Oh, let's see. True. This is my Twitch YouTube channel. This is my Twitch here. I thought it like you did. Okay, so I, th I think I have blocked URLs. Let me see if I can fix that. So, Streamlabs. Log in. Yeah, I, I think bias is not necessarily a bad word. Like, for example, I, I don't like the Dark Souls game. Games. I've played the first Dark Souls, I played it for a couple of hours, I got destroyed, I came away from it not ever wanting to play that series again. Is it a bad game? No, I wouldn't say that, because I, I think it's built better than that, and clearly a lot of people enjoy those games. But I'm not necessarily going to have a great perception of it, not necessarily because, well, and part of that is bias, like, I, I don't like that style of game but that's okay if because i if i don't like something that's all right and some people do some people don't i th i think where people get into trouble with bias is when well i guess there's examples of people who you could say were paid off to write certain things that's happened very little of course there's the jeff gersman situation where he got fired from GameStop or GameSpot because he submitted a bad review for a game that was paying those buying ads on the site at that time. Like there's bias going on and how he got kicked out. That's bad. 
But for the most part, bias is everyone has their inherent biases of things that they like and don't like in video games. And I think for you, if you want to stand out and for anyone who's writing to stand out, you kind of have to let your biases show and explain to people why you like certain things about certain games and why you don't like other things. All right, let me go and try and fix my 